Hey guys, so today I want to talk about how cryptocurrency may be coming to the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo games in general. Now, when I say crypto, I honestly don't mean specifically cryptocurrency, for example, like Bitcoin or Ethereum specifically, although it could come in time. What I'm actually talking about is the blockchain, the technology behind cryptocurrency itself. Now, let me explain how some of this is actually being used already. There's a cryptocurrency called Opus out there. And what Opus does is it allows the creators of music to retain the rights to their music while selling their music directly to their fans, thereby eliminating the middleman, which is usually the recording company, okay? So they get to keep all of that money while also protecting their copyright. We all know that Nintendo is very, very serious about protecting its intellectual properties. So it should not surprise anyone that blockchain technology could potentially come to Nintendo games. Everything ranging from cell phone titles to even Nintendo Switch titles, and especially those with microtransactions. Now, when could we expect to see this happen? I honestly think that it could be a few years, or it's something that may never happen in this console generation. However, when you think about how others are already using blockchain like DRM to prevent piracy, to uh, track accountability, and also to even track how people are using, using their technology, playing their games. You can do all of this with blockchain. It is no surprise that Nintendo may take this route. Another interesting thing is that we know Nintendo likes to do things like Pokemon cards and Pokemon, you know, trading things. But here's the interesting things. What happens when you have too many of those out there? With blockchain, you can create a limited amount, all right? And then you can track each and every single one of those. So imagine a day where there's a finite number of Pokemon that can actually be caught in a specific area or just period. And this is stored on the blockchain itself or there's a finite number of Pokemon with specific characteristics, okay? Guys, we're, we've seen things like this already happening with that crazy cat game. I think it was like Crypto Kitties, which was very, very popular, all right? So don't be shocked when you literally start seeing companies like Nintendo, all right? Even Sony, Microsoft, for example, has been experimenting with technology like this for years, they actually partnered with a company called IOTA. I've talked about them before, and I've said that IOTA is a cryptocurrency built around the Internet of Things. In fact, that's what it partially stands for, Internet of Things. Guys, I want to know what you think. Are you excited by the prospect of knowing that blockchain could be coming to... Nintendo platforms, gaming, in some shape or form? Is that something you're looking forward to? Do you think that it can improve the gaming model? Or do you think that it's something that could just end up restricting gaming, making it more difficult to uh, access your games and to and just, just live your life? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Don't forget also that Right now, we are looking at a crypto bull run coming upon us. If you would like to learn about crypto, take a course over on CryptoMoney.Academy. We have Introduction to Cryptocurrency, How to Buy Bitcoins Anonymously and Through Secret Methods, and How to Day Trade Cryptocurrency for a Living. Check it out. Links in the description of the video. Love God. Get money. Cheers.